All right, guys, welcome to episode 53 of Don't Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me. Got Maddie in the back taking a nap. Milo's around here running around somewhere. We appreciate everybody that's rocking with us since the beginning. Liking, sharing, subscribing, and just showing love, man. We appreciate thanks, thanks. that, and we love y'all back. But yeah, man, we're back with another one. How you feeling, Johnny Bull? I'm chilling, I'm chilling. I can't complain. Uh, yeah, I'm looking kind of tatted up right now. Yeah, bro. That shit's looking nice, we're man. Both, we're both looking yeah, kind of Yeah, man. My shit, my shit coming in, bro. Once I finish the sleeve, you know what I'm saying? It's coming in for step yeah, by step. If you, you only guys... got what, what? Two more sessions? One more session to I finish got, that one? I got one more session and I'll be done with my sleeve. Mm, but we'll see what happens, nah, you know? Man. Uh, yeah, if you guys you guys can see the progress, you know yeah, what I mean, man. from like all the episodes and stuff like that. I ain't that. gonna lie, bro. Tattoos are expensive, bro. Very like, expensive. That's a, like like when I was a kid, I was eighteen. I was like, oh, by the time I'm fucking this age, I'm gonna be tatted. Now, once you really f- realize how how expensive good tattoos are, because you could go get fucking sixty dollar bullshit around the corner anyway. Anyway, yeah, but, crack has. You know what I'm yeah. saying, <laughs> right? But if <laughs> if like you actually getting work done yeah. by a real artist. Listen, bro, that shit's expensive. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars. Yeah, just for one oh, tattoo. Hundred dollars yeah. an hour. Facts. Shit. Yeah. Like it is what it is, man. And yeah, it's whatever. Quality pay, or quantity. Yeah. I mean, you quantity get what you pay for. for. Yeah, whatever. That's cool, man. You get what you pay for, bro. But yep. yeah, man, we. You know what I'm saying? We'll get there. We'll fucking get there, bro. It takes time, little by little. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. But yeah, guys, we've been we've been working, man. We've been fucking working outside of the Dope Talk TV, you know what I'm saying, series. And um, we've been dropping music. So if you guys haven't done so already, we're going to put a link in the description. We just dropped a mixtape with our boy Jay and uh, The Real DeVille, man. We, we, we worked on that. And um, I think it came out pretty fucking dope, Marvin. I don't know about you. Yeah, it came out really, really it good. It came out dope. If you guys could support, please go and check out the, the mixtape and let us know give us some feedback on what you guys think we could improve on and whatnot but um but yeah man yeah. We, we've been working with that music yeah. too bro like put the link in the description yeah, and all bro, that it's, so. hard, it's harder than what people think yeah people very, think very hard. oh I'm gonna just go in the studio and make a song and it's gonna come out dope yeah listen bro yeah, it's shit's harder than what people think bro. some people are gifted and able to do it by themselves mm-hmm. that's awesome that's amazing you know what i'm saying look at j cole you know what i'm saying like artists like that like yeah they produce themselves Kanye. they record themselves they write themselves yeah but everybody ain't like that man and that's okay yeah there's some people that just need a team you need a solid team of, anybody uh, needs yeah. a team though yeah. because even those guys have a team believe yep. it or not mm-hmm. trust me they have people in the studio kanye west he has if you look at his credits, I think it, on all his albums, there's like fucking 30 people that he gives credit to because there's 30 people all working on them, you know, on a project where it's like somebody might listen to it and be like, oh, you should say and instead of if here. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that might change the whole fucking verse. It yep. might make it sound completely different. It's something that small. That's why, like, when you go into into the music industry, bro, like. You can't expect to beat other people's team with just you and your engineer. You need a team too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You need a creative. Different perspectives. Exactly. You need a creative space with multiple people because everybody don't think the same, bro. And you might think that you're right, but you might be completely fucking wrong. Yeah. It might sound like trash. Yeah. Facts. Like, <laughs> and, real, and that's important, bro. But, but yeah, guys, again... Link in the description. Go check out the music. We've been working on it, but you dropped your single too. I already, yeah, I, I, bro, I just posted it on the page. Yeah, proud of me, bro. I'm proud of that song for real, man, because it, it, you know, it actually means something to, to me. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. not just a, a a regular song talking about regular shit. But um, but yeah, man, talking about music, bro. This is Megan the Stallion shit. Bro. Oh my god, man! Like everybody's saying she's a snitch, she's a six nine, yeah, all this bro. other stuff. But that, uh, what, what you think on that, bro? nigga? I don't think she's a snitch, bro. I don't think she's a snitch. People are just, you know, what I'm saying they're trying to justify dupe fucking snitching for whatever reason, man. And it's like, yeah. Listen, bro, Megan Thee Stallion was never out here portraying to be a gangster and portraying, throwing up colors and throwing up gang signs and saying she was shooting niggas and saying test her gangster and all this other shit. She's a civilian. Fact. She graduated fucking college. <laughs> fucking like she's a college graduate, my nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like she, she, she just so happens to be good at rapping. But she's a fucking regular civilian. She's a regular girl, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if your fucking sister gets shot, do you expect her to be like, no, bro, I'm going to go handle that myself? No. Nah, they got some female that yeah. just got shot. Yeah. <laughs> you know I expect you to like, call paramedics. Yeah, you know like I mean? call the like, cops, whatever. Like, And yeah. then say your story. You can't compare the two, bro. Because she wasn't putting that energy out there. 
Facts. You know? and, and she, she wasn't like she wasn't tempting people on like you know like throwing shots at people to to antagonize shit. Six nine what six nine? Yeah, dug himself a hole, and when he saw that he was gonna be buried for fucking life in it. He he took the coward's way out, bro. So yep. you can't you can't compare the two, bro. It's it's two different stories, yeah. Two, two different scenarios. But yeah, yeah. Megan the Stallion, man. Shout out Megan the Stallion. That's my baby, low key, yeah, bro. Yeah, now she bad. That's my fucking baby. She's thick and she's yeah, real, bro. Yeah, she ain't. You know what I'm saying? They ain't surgery. Yeah, it's all real. It's like yeah, you could tell by the th- like the thigh to booty yeah. ratio. Thigh to booty ratio. Thigh to booty to you know knee ratio. Yeah. All that shit. All that shit takes a fucking. You yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah. She makes good music. She she got bars. Like she's nah, up there. Yeah, with I, I fuck I fuck with her music, man. It ain't you know it ain't like I'm not riding around all day listening to it. But nah. when it comes on, like you know, it's a vibe. I've seen her freestyles before. Like she freestyled with the baby and shit mm-hmm. on the triple XL freestyle. Double XL before. cover. Yeah, and I was like, damn, like she she going in, like for real. Yeah, for nah. Her. She you know she's a good artist, man. And yeah. it, it's a shame, bro. It's a shame that. Tory Lanez probably fucked up his whole career because he was a good artist, bro. There's a lot of songs yeah, that yeah. that I'm like, damn, that nigga's talented. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's dropped a lot of fire too, but unfortunately, dog, we can't condone that shit, bro. No, we can't no, condone no. you shooting at a female or shooting a female over some emotional shit. What we was talking about the last podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Control your motherfucking emotions, nigga. Facts. You're acting like a female. Yep. That's yeah, a female move. You, you beefing with a female just makes you look bad. I'm going to question you. Physically beefing with a female is yeah. like, what are you doing, bro? Yeah, yeah. It's like, it, even a dyke. I'm sorry. I don't I'm going to say it. Yeah, nah, nah. Even, like with a female. Like, you're just a, female. You're a female. Yeah, you're a female. Like, and, you know, we don't want to offend anybody, but if, you know, if somebody gets offended, then it is what it is. But, yeah, like, thanks. that's just our opinion, man. That's my opinion, too, bro. Like, it, you know, a man should never put his hands on a woman. A, a man should never attack a woman like that and vice versa too bro like people just should keep their fucking hands and weapons to themselves unless it's a self-defense situation yeah exactly you know yeah. what i mean like yeah for sure i mean like i get it she's big but not nah. yeah, yeah bro. Nah, that doesn't give you give you a right to, to even that bro I, to be completely honest i don't know man i don't think she was really hitting that nigga yeah i don't think so either. in my opinion who knows bro we just talking shit yeah. that's what we do on the podcast you we know what i'm saying we're, we're, we're just talking about through speculation. Exactly. Because nobody was fucking there. Who no knows? one was there. Yeah. Who knows? But in my opinion, I really don't think she was hitting, hitting on that nigga. Nah, no. Nah. nah, that's not cool. I really don't. Yeah. They but obviously yeah, had a thing, though. They obviously had a thing. I think that's no, probably no, no, what yeah, it was. Yeah, I think they was hooking up on the low. Yeah, And fast. I think that um, feelings might have gotten a little too deep yep. on one side and not on the other. Yeah. And shit played out the way it played out. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> for real, for real. But <laughs> someone got I, someone got shot in the foot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean, that's like, just how it goes sometimes, my nigga. Yeah, facts. People get shot every day, b. People get arrested all the time too. Nah, every day. yeah. People get arrested all the time doing stupid shit. And back in the day, man. Back in the day, a lot of niggas went to fucking jail over burning CDs on Walmart. Yeah, <laughs> people were getting their ki- their doors, the doors kicked, kicked in. Doors kicked in. Whole DJ Drama fucking got his whole fucking Damn. studio took. Really? I swear to God. Damn. He was doing mixed- <laughs> Shout yeah. out DJ Drum. Yeah, my he boy, said I suck my sack. My boy, one of my close friends, he used to burn movies and sell them like bootleg and shit. Bro, yeah, he said that hit, he, he said I he had the cops on his movies ass all the time, bro. It'd be like five dollars for a movie that just at dropped. the barber shop and shit. Like nigga, fuck it, let me get that. Yeah, for real. <laughs> No, nah, for real. They had Share Bear, Lime, like Lime Wire. I remember I used to be the guy in my family that everybody would go to. Yeah, I don't know much about it. My sister was that. You know what I'm saying? So shout out my sister, man. She was yeah. the one that would download all the music, make fucking niggas CDs and fucking yeah, mixtapes and shit. For real, like, sell that shit. Fuck it, bro. Make you a little bread. Yeah, make until they bread. until they search yeah, one, yeah. Fucking come kick down the your pe- fucking windows and shit. You know what happened to the uh, to those people, right? The, the creators, they got fucking sued and they got like life sentences and Get shit the like fuck that. Fuck for lime no, They bro, they are in there for a long time. Like, Why? They, like bro, because they the owner of that company, like it was all legal. Like that was all copyright shit and like they got they got someone had to be responsible at the end of the day for all this <sighs> that shit sucks yeah I mean, fuck bro you, I'm, i mean shit yeah <laughs> that so at the end suck. of the day like whatever dope go, whatever dirt goes on there's always has to be somebody responsible for it like one yeah, person fact. yeah somebody's <laughs> always gonna take the fall sometimes yeah. they don't though yeah I mean, you know you might just end up with nothing be broken yeah just like they tell you to you owe a lot of money kick rocks 
you made like a million dollars, you spend the whole check, and now you don't got it. <laughs> now you fuck. <laughs> you don't got no money for no lawyer. Nah, fuck it. You got nothing. Uh, that shit makes you want to blow your head off. Facts. Real talk. It's true. But nah, bro, it's crazy how like, you know, the internet has come a long way, technology's come a long way, and Internet Explorer is fucking dead. Yeah. Microsoft finally pulled the plug on it and said it's been a good 25 years. No more. I think no it's more. just... Nobody's using it no more, man. They're all on Firefox, fucking yeah, Firefox, Google, Google Chrome. Chrome. That's what I use. Yeah, I like Firefox. So that's Firefox fast. is yeah, Firefox is dope. It's fast. It's a good. But yeah, good man, browser. you you gotta pay homage to the motherfucking. You know what I'm saying? You gotta pay homage to the the originals, man. And the OGs. Internet Explorer is definitely the original. Yeah, my dog just showed up. My boy Miguel pulling up on us right but, now. Um, but yeah, man, it, Internet Explorer was fucking legendary, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all fucking had dial up and had to deal with the bullshit of fucking. The kids nowadays have no fucking idea, bro. Yeah. How long it would take us to download certain shit. Yeah. I like, mean, like, you guys complain about the, the video games, Call of Duty updates taking hours and shit. Bro, we would have to wait a day. Days, and a half. nigga. Days. Bro. Fuck you talk about. You go to school two school days and that shit still ain't done. You come back the third day mad as fuck. Facts. <laughs> Facts. That's a fact. Fucking. Man, even laptops, like, back in the day, like, older computers and shit. You know what I mean? Like, just mm-hmm. just updates. That would take much longer. The technology's advancing now. It's crazy. It's different different uh, times. You look back at it, it wasn't that long ago. Come in, bro. Come in. Oh, the door's locked. Oh, damn. Hold on. Internet Explorer, how it's fucking dead, bro. Damn, bro. <sighs> Twenty five years. Yeah, bro. It's been uh, it's been a long time, man. I can't believe that shit. Like, I remember when Internet Explorer was like the thing thing, and uh, yeah, it's, you don't talk, man. Just to hear that name, it sounds like a fucking fossil. Fast, bro. It's like a dinosaur. <laughs> For real. Like, That's but, cr- you know, like I, like I was saying, bro, you, you got to pay how much to the originals. And yep. that shit helped a lot of people. A lot, you know, it, it paved the way for a lot of other, you know, a lot of other companies to do their thing. So you can't fucking shit on them. Yeah, that's true. But, yeah, bro, you know what you can shit on, nigga? What? <laughs> you can shit on people getting hurt doing stupid shit. Yeah. That's what you can shit on. God damn. Because there's so many people out here <laughs> that get hurt doing the dumbest fucking shit, bro. Just off ridiculousness, you could just fucking, you watch that show. Oh, Any- my God. <laughs> Shout out Rob Deerdeck. He's a fucking legend, bro. Yo, Rob. Is. That's- nah, but ridiculousness is funny as fuck. Yeah, it is. And it's so funny, man. It's, it shouldn't be, but it is. No, it's hilarious. It, yeah, because there's some people out here getting like really, really hurt. Facts. You know what I'm saying? They doing backflips off stupid shit. Like, you could just tell by like the first 30 seconds how <laughs> bad this person's going to get hurt. You like, can tell just by the way that nigga planted his foot to jump that facts. he's going to fuck his whole life up, bro. Just like his body. You know, I don't know. His his body language. You could just tell, like, dude's nervous. Like, There's man. some niggas that as soon as you see him running, you're like, this isn't going to happen. No, like, you don't not. even know how to run right. No, nah, hey. <laughs> Dude didn't even That's jump right. right. Yeah, what the fuck are you doing right what now, bro? What the fuck? People you end up in the hospital. Facts. Yeah, man. Just like my mom's boyfriend. He tried to... Yeah, it's not funny because I've seen some Yo. shit that, that's kind of like... Nah, it's not that nigga funny. could have fucking killed himself, but, bro. But it's kind of funny no, because no, it's like, dog, yeah, yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, you lived and you're okay, so I can laugh at you nah, now. But dumbass. like, yeah, but... It's not funny, you know. Don't do that ever to me, like ever again. Nah, type thing. Nigga, yeah. At the end of the day, bro, we're at home. Guys, if you ride a motorcycle out there, please, please bro, please. wear a motherfucking helmet. Your family doesn't need to get a call that your brain just got fucking splattered on the road like a watermelon. Facts. On God. And they can't put you together Facts, or even like, have a fucking open casket at all. Like they can't even come identify your ass because you're so fucked up. Like. Just wear a helmet, man. You're not too cool, bro. Yeah. You're not too cool to wear a helmet and, and fucking, you know, protect your life. Like, fuck out of here, bro. Bruh, even with the helmet, like, come on, man. Yeah, like, man. Like, just have respect for shit that needs to have respect. Fast cars, fast bikes, fast boats, fast quads, fast anything. Nigga, have respect for it, bro, because that's a machine. And at the end of the day, that's a fucking weapon. You fuck around and lose control and run through a fucking crowd, dog. You're going to jail for life. And they're going to jump your ass and beat the fuck out of you while the cops show up, dog. You're fucked. Yeah. Like, 
<laughs> you fucked for life, bro. Facts. It's true. It's like, just have respect for it, guys. For real, for real, man. It's just people doing outrageous shit all the time. It doesn't surprise me, though. I mean, it's the human race. I don't know, man. You know? Like, like, seriously. People just get don't give a fuck. Some <laughs> niggas just be like, we out! And then... Yeah, they be out and yeah. never come back. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Real talk. Yeah, be but nah, bro. It be some I ain't gonna face. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie face ass niggas out there, bro. Yeah, that's what we call like when a motherfucker say I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> what? Bro, if you ever meet uh, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I say it all the time. Nigga. Yeah, you are. I ain't gonna lie, face <laughs> ass nigga. And he's about to lie his motherfucking <laughs> ass off. That nigga ain't gonna tell you nothing. That's Yo, real. I went to that I went restaurant. To the seafood place. <laughs> They had the best fucking blue crab in Florida. And you show up, nigga, they saw no blue crab. It's fucking trash. There's flies flying around in the tip jar and shit. You fucking eat, you eat a tuna sandwich because that's the only fucking fish they got. And you end up shitting yourself all Facts. night. Facts. And you talk to him the next day. He's like, oh, I never went there. Yeah. <laughs> How was it? You know, I, like, I wanted you to go so you could tell me how it was. Nah, I'll be coming up with the most outrageous stories. You remember that story <laughs> that fucking Santos fucking said to that girl about he went to Afghanistan or some yo, shit? Yo, shout like, out my boy Santos, y'all. I'll never forget that shit, y'all. This nigga straight face told the girl in high school. We were not even 18 yet. He told her that he went to war and lost his, tear duct, his duck tears. He couldn't cry no more because he cried too much at war. I swear to God, and this girl, this girl was like, "Oh my God, for real!" And he's like, "Yeah, babe, you know what I'm saying." He's like, "I don't cry, I can't cry no more." You know, the war was too tough. <laughs> the war, and she's like, "Damn, I man, how you look at Santa? I, what kind of gun did you have?" And he's like, "I'm 16." I swear to God, you just finessing the fuck out this bitch, bro. Fuck I'm like, man. this can't be real. Like, this is happening right in front of my face. Like, this can't be real. And she was believing everything. I swear to fucking God. Either that, or she just like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, she was she was acting like she was believing. It. God, that's fucking crazy. Hey man, get your game off. Shout out to Santos. He pulled that one off smooth. <laughs> I ain't gonna I lie, to ass motherfucker. I went to war. For real. I ain't gonna lie. I just got back from <laughs> Afghanistan. <laughs> yeah, you say that to the wrong girl, bro. She no, was like, oh, yeah. You're a piece of shit if you use that shit. Bro, this nigga's really coming back from Afghanistan. Women, too. <laughs> women, too, are coming back from Afghanistan. And you say the wrong city? You say Durban <laughs> instead of Bergen? <laughs> bro, yeah, yeah. bro, you gonna get fucking beat up. <laughs> Bro, there's some women that know how to fight, bro. Like, some of the UFC fighters that I see, like, <coughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't fight any of them. I wouldn't fight any female UFC fighter. If you see one of those niggas with the, with the ears curled up no, no, no. in if a cauliflower. No, no, no. If you see a cauliflower, yeah. <laughs> you better turn around and get the fucking step. Because that nigga will kick your fucking jaw. Yo, I seen a meme about that. It was like, yo, if you if you were going to get into a, a tussle at a, <laughs> at a bar and you see his ear like that. I'm going nah, to beat him up with my pistol, hey, bro. No, nah, bitch. First of all, I'm not bitch, fighting I'm him. not fighting your ass. I'm not. We could be friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could be friends. I'm bro. not going to fight you, It bro. ain't that fucking deep. No. Nah, Matter of fact, what gym you go to? No, bro. Let's go together. Yo, what are you, a Virgo? <laughs> <laughs> nah, cauliflower here. Stay the fuck away from those guys. Them niggas don't care about your life or theirs. Nah, for real. That's a fact. Facts. That's crazy to me, man. That's awesome, though. At the same time, it's like, <laughs> nah, bro. Listen, man. I feel like as humans, we're just pieces of shit that are violent. Yeah. Like, oh god, bro. Like, we're just violent for no fucking reason. Dog. I just don't get the people that get real violent when they get drunk. Like, like, don't you want to be happy? And like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a happy drunk. Yeah, I'm a happy guy. Like, I really don't want to fight. Nobody. I be laughing at the niggas fighting when yeah. I'm drunk. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> be like yo, look at this thing. He just got knocked the fuck out. I ain't gonna bro. lie. This, I, see, look, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> No, no, nah, nah, this ain't a lie though. Nah, that's a you lie. were there. He's let me there. Hear, let me hear. So first. we were at the fucking bar and we see somebody fucking get violent, man. Right? Where? At the fucking the fucking sports oh, yeah. place. <laughs> There's a sports bar around the corner we went to, bro. <laughs> Motherfucker got violent. He thought yo, he was cool. Yo, this nigga thought he was fresh, bro. He took out his little pistol and, and shot himself in the ball sack. Facts. And I was right like, in the balls. And he, no one knew, but we saw it. No, no, I saw that shit. We and then his that. own boy was like, nigga, put that shit away. Yeah, what are you doing? And then he like walked to the car slow as fucking sat there for like 10 minutes, probably watching his balls bleed. What the 
crazy, bro. I mean, listen, man. That's crazy to me, man. I can't. Guys, don't pull out a fucking gun like you're Billy fucking badass. Yeah, like we're you're in, not Billy badass. We're, we're not in the. And fucking... if you don't know how to use that shit, bro. First of all, you got some balls to come out and just shoot at a fucking bar. Nah, bro. He just had that mentality. I could tell he was straight from the island. You know yeah, what I'm saying? And, and me cool. being from Puerto Rico, I know the type of mentality that's out there, bro. And him being straight from the island, he was, you know, I get it. He you're, was ready you're to in go. A pla- you know, you're in a place you don't know. There's multiple people surrounding. I get it. But at the same time, nobody else pulled out a gun. Yeah. And if nobody else pulled out a gun, nigga, then it's fist. And if it's fist, let it be fist. Yeah. Because niggas can make it home now. Like, but I'm, surprised I'm, like, how, I'm surprised how long he stayed in that car. He didn't move. He bro, was in he shock. Bro, he was in shock. Yeah. When you, you shoot your fucking sack. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably a lot of thoughts sack, going nigga. through your head. Like, Yo, you're pissed. Yeah, you're probably like, Yo, damn why it. Why the fuck did I pull this out? <laughs> nobody even swung. <laughs> I just shot my balls. Am I, ever, <laughs> am, am I ever gonna be facts? Am I ever gonna be able to have kids again, bro? Am I ever gonna have am fucking I gonna sex? Out? Is this how I go? Yeah. Do I shoot myself in the penis? <laughs> do yes. I shoot? Do I shoot myself in the ball and fucking die? Jesus, what? that's wild to me. I, I just, man, I would be scared. Nah, bro, that's a scary situation. But that's just stupid. That's what you get when you're a fucking idiot, man. Yep. Real talk. A lot of ways to get hurt. <clears throat> stupid people getting hurt, man. Yep. Real talk. But yeah, guys, we appreciate everybody that's tuned back in. Is rocking with us, like and share, subscribe, and all that good shit, man. We're gonna have some fucking t-shirts and some merch coming soon. And um, yeah, man, we appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts, guys. Stay tuned. Yep. Peace. Peace.